All right, we're out here, Road Atlanta. Got our tent set up. Guys are already killing a beer. It's a good time. So this video is kind of gonna be bits and pieces of the support races and stuff and walking around and most of it's gonna be the event. I'm not gonna go, like go too in depth with all of the support races and everything, but uh, I'll have the camera on me uh, so we can capture any cool stuff if we see it. The tent was actually, from my perspective, I only helped, y'all did most of the work. Didn't seem that bad. It was a little confusing at first, but now we got it up. John's got his air mattress. Everything's up. We got two rooms, plenty of beer and snacks. Here's my pathetic bed here in the corner because I'm too dumb to bring a sleeping bag. And we got our porch out here, chairs. Good place to sit, drink some beers and talk shit on people. I don't like wearing sunscreen, so I went and I bought this big hat and I've also got these Larry Chen style slip-on UV sleeves, which are actually very comfortable and cooling. Anyway, pretty soon it's going to be time to see cars on track. Pro tip to Road Atlanta, don't bring shoes you care about. Hour two, we've already got an epic empties pile going. It's good stuff. Oh, I'm on the spot. We're just walking around the paddock. Talking about the cars we like, making fun of the ones we don't. John's had a few beers, he's getting a little belligerent. We're gonna head back to camp. Uh, not much else to see today. Uh, everybody's just kind of setting up. <laughs> so, we'll see what the evening brings. Thanks for the free stickers, Imsa. <laughs> we got like 50. This hill is ridiculous. Johnny's about to have a heart attack. Road Atlanta pro tip. Find someone with a golf cart and become their new best friend. Since you wish my channel was Hoonigan so bad, wrap day one at Road Atlanta. That's a wrap! <laughs> the best way to be rudely awoken in the morning? I think yes. Day two, breakfast. First weather tech practice is at our, around 11, 11.10. I think it was. We're gonna head down and watch the big guns. Already walked over to the fan midway, got all our free crap, looked at the uh, the hypersexualized women at every booth, had a good time. Now we're packing the camelback full of beer. We're gonna go watch some race cars. There's nothing better. Uh. Best viewing spot in the house, right here. <laughs> I don't know if the video does it justice, but it's nutty in person. We're about halfway down the hill, bridge is up there on down to the bottom, and we're still really high up. It's just amazing. You've really got to respect the commitment it takes to attack through here. Thousands of old men and their wives and dogs can't be wrong. Day two, hour three. Golf livery on a 911, always a good idea. So walking through the GT3 Cup paddock, we saw these hanging out of the trash, and this is probably as close as I'm ever going to get to owning a 911, so I grabbed this rear bumper off a cup car. That's awesome. John got a heat shield. It's going to be the new skid plate on his Miata, and Ryan got another part of the rear bumper. It's got the Yokohama and the chrome vinyl on it. That's pretty cool. That's why I love walking through the paddock at a race weekend. You get free race car parts. It's awesome. This is the most Lexus thing I've ever seen. A Pebble Beach Edition RX. How white.
beautiful it is. Nothing beats the waning hours of a day at a racetrack. You see the campfires rising in the air, there's just, there's a magic about it. Day three begins. Continental Tire Challenge races today. We're gonna head over to the fan zone, maybe ride uh, the G-Wagons and steal some more power from General Motors. This'll be a pretty relaxing day. Until later, when we cook all the rest of our food and drink all the rest of our beer so that we'll uh, be coherent enough uh, to go home after the race tomorrow rather than Sunday morning. That's what we're planning to do anyway. Pouring one out for my homies. We eating good today, son. Legit. Yeah. Thanks again for the free power, GM. Wow. That looks stupid. Not wasting any time today. We're gonna go up that thing in a Mercedes G wagon. We're gonna head across the way, do the Continental Challenge uh, grid walk, because their race is gonna start soon. Need to go find my Miata friends. There they are. Road Atlanta pro tip, don't sit in the stands on the support side. These are like really sketchy. The, the space between uh, the seats is... You could lose a whole child. You could lose a whole child. It's uh, super sketchy. And I get nervous walking up it every time. I'm such a jerk. I cut like an hour long line and grabbed one of the already signed ones off the table. I honestly don't really care what happens in the Conti race. John and I were gonna head back to the tent, cool off because it's really hot today, but we did stop in the paddock, get some hero cards on the way back because why not? Just taking a leak on the surface of Mars. Well, the seat's off to a, a cool, wet start. It's misting, just like it did that horrible year, a couple years ago, so uh, we knew it was coming. We packed all our crap into the car. Now we can enjoy the event and not have to worry about all our stuff being wet. After being here for a, almost a week now, everything we own, everything we love, our deepest, darkest souls have been tainted orange from the Georgia clay. These shoes, ruined. John's feet, ruined. Throw them out. Ryan's innocence, taken. Well, the pandemonium has begun. What a mess. Two minutes on the grid walk. Already got some stickers.
champions elect right here. Just a couple noisy beetles. No big deal. Pour one out this weekend for the Orica FLM09, the prototype challenge chassis. Long in the tooth, but it's got a good legacy. This is its last race. JDC Banana Boat. All right, we've had enough of uh, all that mess. Time to go and uh, try to get a seat for the start. More mist. It's funny watching all the teams down there scramble to put on wet if they were going to go on slicks. I want someone to look at me like this kid looks at his giant gummy worm that he's eating and he's, he's eating entire mouthfuls and like leering at people. Craig's a legend, and uh, he got us in the Porsche thing. Are these complimentary? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The great thing about having this now is if it rains later, we can just come here. place is beating us, we're gonna take a bus. It was so hot in there I almost would have rather walked.
right, everybody. Petite is in the books. We're back at John's house. Came home last night late because uh, we wanted to sleep in real beds. We were tired of camping after doing so for a week. I had a really good time. I got a lot of footage. It's going to take me a while to edit it, so I don't know when you guys are going to see it. But uh, final thoughts from the trip, John. I had fun. I broke this car once. You got to break it once. And uh, my three looks like it's been parked on Mars. All week. It really does. It got a. Uh, it's kind of blown out. John's car got a free orange paint job, courtesy of that uh, North Georgia clay. But all in all, had fun, right? Yeah. And Pibbles got fat. Pibbles got fat. She went to a friend's house, had a little vacation, but she's still cute. All right, Ryan. Final thoughts. I had a lot of fun. I got to uh, experience some new things. Uh, enjoyed my time at the track, at the race. Uh, we got the car low. I'm going to yeah. enjoy that going forward. Uh, yeah, so thanks for everything. Yes. All right, before I go on at length, I will just say that uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one if you've stuck around to the end. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing. Wrap the video, Pibbles. That's right!